So this is the 4 one Plus. You'll notice that there's a tray in the bottom of the printer, and that tray is the actual build material. It's a liquid photopolymer resin. Um, the resin is sensitive to UV light, so everywhere that laser light point is hitting the resin, the resin is actually solidifying, turning into hard plastic. I'm Kevin from Forum Labs. And the product is the Form 1 Plus. It's a desktop stereolithography 3D printer. We launched on Kickstarter about three years ago. Okay. Um, we sold a thousand printers on Kickstarter and we've been selling printers ever since. So now the company's about 100 people. We have 30 interns this summer and uh, we're working constantly to improve the Form 1 Plus and continue to bring more resins to our customers. And where are you based? Uh, Somerville, Massachusetts. We have uh, four colors of general purpose hard plastic resin. We have clear, gray, white, and black. Then we have three different functional resins. We've got a, a flexible resin that's a rubber-like uh, for compression strength. It's good for like uh, cell phone cases, tool handles, that sort of thing. We also have a tough, brand new tough resin that we just released uh, yesterday actually, and that's for really high strength parts. And we have a castable resin that's used for investment casting. Here's a chain we made out of our new tough material, so that's our strongest resin. Wow. And it's uh, really to break the stereotype, a lot of people say that you can't make uh, parts that are resistant to impact with a sterilography 3D printer. So we created this resin that's uh, an ABS-like resin that's strong against impact. Like how much weight could this could this hold you or, you or me? I'm not sure how much this could hold. This is off the Form 1 Plus, just like the machine. Really? Yeah, just like this machine. Wow. This exact machine could make that part. What are you making right now? Uh, we're making a, a model that uh, shows the full build volume of the printer. That's as big as it can go. Yep, yep. That'll uh, as the day goes on, that'll keep pulling out of the out of the uh, bed here, and eventually we'll have a model that's the biggest size the printer can print. I see that it's dipping, going going down, and it comes back up. What's it doing when it does uh, that? So when it's actually. Uh, dipping the tank down to peel the layer, uh, the bottom layer of the print off the bottom of the tank so it's going to separate and then the build platform moves up a uh, predefined amount. We actually have different quality settings that define how much that build platform is, moves is up. Is that plastic hot, the liquid? No, no, not at all. So it's just, it's li it's liquid at yeah. room temperature? Yeah, that's correct. Photoreactive process that's going on here. Yeah. Very fast. So the magic is really in the lasers. Uh, and the resin. And the material. Yeah, and the printer itself. Yeah. And you're saying this has been around for a while. The technology's been around since the 80s. Uh, it was at an industrial price point, so hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, we were the first company to bring it to the desktop market. And what's it cost now? $3,300. Flexible resin, it's a rubber like flexible resin. Um, we also have a the blue stuff is our castable resin, so it's designed for investment casting and cast metal parts from it. Wow. Um, and that's actually printed at our highest quality setting at 25 micron layers. So each layer is one thousandth of an inch. How long would this take to print? Uh, Probably an hour and a half, two hours. Because it's, like so, it's so small. Yeah. We print actually, uh, when we print those, we actually print nine rings at a time. It takes about three hours for nine rings. So the standard hard plastic prototyping resins are 150 per liter or 15 cents per cubic centimeter. The flexible resin is um, it's $100 for 500 milliliters. How much would so this works. cost, this part? Or like maybe how much would this chain cost? About $20 to print. It all works out by. Thank you very much. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Yeah.